In this recording, we're going to look at three different sterilizer readouts or cycle records. Um, we're going to look at a three minute steam sterilization. This is for immediate use sterilizing, meaning open container. And then we'll look at a 10 minute open container or immediate use <coughs> sterilization cycle. And then a pre vac cycle also for immediate use open container type of sterilization. First, let's look at the three minute uh, steam readout or record. You can see on this at the top, it gives an overview of the cycle that is run. So we know this is going to be a three minute cycle. Also at the time, it gives you the date and time of the cycle start. It gives you a cycle count number. When you're documenting, you'll need to be able to document the date and time of the cycle initiated. You also need to place on your documentation the cycle count number so it can be connected up with the readout or the record at some later time. And these are typically pulled from the sterilizer on a daily basis and then uh, filed uh, for evidence that the, uh, that the cycle did meet parameters if there was one in which there was a question. <clears throat> Now, when we start to uh, look at the actual readout information, all that is contained in this square. And then within this square, you'll see along the left side, it's got a C, an S, E, and then the Z at the bottom. I'm going to enlarge this area just a little bit. So it's easier to see. The C is for condition. Up to this point, the sterilizer is just injecting uh, steam in preparation uh, for the cycle. The actual sterilization <clears throat> does not start until the S appears, which is below this red line. It will stay in sterilization mode until it exhausts, which is at this point. So within this red square is the actual sterilization point of this cycle. You can see that it started at 1 minute after 1 and 31 seconds. So 101, 31 seconds. And then it continued to 101, uh, excuse me, 104 and 31 seconds. So the first thing we want to do is we want to assure that this is a 3 minute cycle. And so we're going to take the 10431, subtract 10131 from that, and we see that there is a difference of exactly three minutes. So that information is in that first column. And column two is our temperature. Notice that uh, it does not reach above 270 degrees until it starts the sterilization. Now there is one temperature that's 269.9 that uh, still would be considered uh, the 270 degree mark and that it stayed in column three above at least 27 PSI. And so in this area, you're gonna see 27 to 30 PSI is typically necessary to maintain the autoclave above 270 degrees. So when we're looking at this readout, we wanna look at all three of these columns. First, we want to go to column one. We want to see that there is three or 10 minutes difference there. Then we're going to look at column two, and we're going to track down through column two and make sure that we're above 270 degrees for the entire three minutes. And then we'll go to column three and track down through there and make sure we're above 27 PSI. Okay, on this second picture, the second readout, this is a 10-minute flash sterilization readout. 
or excuse me, not flash sterilization, but immediate use sterilization readout. We're going to look here, and our information is also at the top. We got the cycle count 270. We see the time is 1:14:11 and the date when this cycle began. And we see that it should be it's set for a 10 minute sterilization, one minute dry time. So we're going to go down. We see it's conditioning until 1:15:19. So below this blue line is where it starts to sterilize. And it's continuing to sterilize till it reaches 125 and 19. So let's look at our three columns. In column one, we see that we've got 10 minutes difference. It's 125 and 19 minus 115 and 19. In column two, we can see that it stayed above 270 degrees. In column three, we can see that it stayed above 27 psi. So this cycle is good for a 10 minute cycle. So any uh, instrumentation that needs 10 minute cycle, this has achieved that. This third one is a prevac cycle. Prevac is typically used for drills, something that we need to get good penetration. We'll start out here again. We have our cycle count number, date and time. Here in our summary, we said this is a four minute sterilization and a 20 minute dry time. A four minute prevac can sterilize many items, but there's a 20 minute dry time typically connected with that. And so that's going to take this total cycle. We can see down the bottom here, it took a total of 31 minutes and 57 seconds. So this is kind of an extended period of time to get four minutes of prevac time. In order to get that four minutes of prevac time, we've got to condition the chamber a good bit before we can actually get to the sterilization. All this area is part of the conditioning of the autoclave for prevac. You'll notice that this will have vacuum and steam pulses. And so the very beginning here, you see a pulse of steam it is allowed to go up to 24 PSI at 265 degrees. Then vacuum is pulled into the chamber. And so instead of being a positive, this is a negative pressure of 19 and so it's 161 degrees at this point. Notice that's well below 212 degrees or blowing point. So with vacuum, then the temperature is going to drop. With pressure, the temperature of the steam goes up. Then we shoot a pulse of steam in. It goes up to 246 degrees at 26 psi. And then we pull a vacuum of 17, giving us dropping it back down to 168 degrees. Pulse of steam up to 248 degrees with 26 psi, and then a vacuum, and then a pulse, and a vacuum. So with this particular sterilization prevac, we've got one, two, three, four pulses. So that's a four pulse prevac pre cycle. The four pulse, you may hear, you may not, it's not uh, kind of general terminology, but essentially what that means is it took four pulses of steam 
uh, in this pre-back in order to condition. Uh, so this machine was set to do that uh, for their pre-vac, and so uh, set to do the four pulses of steam in order to prep the chamber. Then we're going to switch to sterilization mode. And so once that last vacuum is released, then steam is released to enter the autoclave, allowing it to go up to the 270 degrees above 27 PSI. This occurs at 114.57, and then it stays in range until 118.57. So this is your four-minute sterilization time in this pre-vac. We can look at our four columns. In column one, we see that it's above or that the time meets the parameter. Column two, we'll go down column two and see that it is above pressure, I mean, excuse me, above temperature, above 270 degrees. And then column three, we can see that it's above 27 PSI. And so this four minute cycle was complete. We did have the pre-vac before, so we know that, uh, that the uh, chamber was prepped for the type of item that we're wanting to sterilize. And then we get the four minutes sterilization time after the pre-vac conditioning of the chamber. After that, then it goes into a dry time uh, that is a 20 minute dry time before pulling a little final vacuum in order to uh, prep the chamber then um, to release the pressure altogether and to be ready for unloading. So as I said, it's a pretty extended cycle, but you can see where this type of conditioning of the chamber would be best if you wanted to be able to prep the chamber for something that would be difficult uh, to get steam penetration.